I bought every skin in Brawl Stars. It cost almost 3,000 gems. Or about $150 if you buy gems 2,000 at a time, which I don't. Anyways guys, today I have created a system to determine how much every single skin in the game should cost and compare that to how much they actually cost. And then we're gonna find out which skins provide the best and worst values. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so here's how this is going to work. I have analyzed every aspect of all the 30 skins in Brawl Stars. And I associated gem costs with various things that could come along with each of those skins. For example, 20 gems for a new weapon or new headgear, since these are some of the key features that actually make up a skin. Additionally, 10 gems for something on their back, since that's what you're going to see primarily a lot of when you're actually playing the game. Five gems are awarded for things like changes to the face, neck, shirt, waist, arm and hands, or legs and feet. And because battle is where you're actually going to be showing off your skins to other players, 25 gems for a change to an attack mechanic or a super mechanic. And then I also added additional gem costs for various things like a different victory pose or animation or anything else that seemed noteworthy. Another thing to note is that every skin gets a base of 10 gems to their skin associated with them, which is typically just associated with the bare minimum, which would just be a recolor. And then lastly, we have exclusive skins, which are no longer available to future players because the event that they were associated with is now over. These exclusive skins will have an additional 50% of their original gem value cost associated with them because they will actually become more exclusive as more time goes on and they become more rare. After figuring out how much a skin should be worth in gems, I then take the actual cost of gems and subtract it from that to give a value. The higher that number, the more value that skin provides for the gems that you're spending. The lower the number, the lower the value that you're going to get by spending gems on that skin. Discounts on skins will not be considered for this video, so some of the values may fluctuate depending on whether you have a discount available in the shop. Okay, wow, that was like one of the longest intros, guys. Sorry about that. I hope you're still watching. Currently, there are 30 skins in the game, and today, we are going to cover the top 15 according to the most value that they actually have to offer for how much they cost to actually purchase. I'll be doing a worst valued skins video in the future. So uh, after you subscribe to see that, then go ahead and drop a comment in the section below letting me know which three skins you think have the highest value for their cost. And then we'll see if you're right at the end of the video. We're gonna go ahead and start today's video with a four way tie for 12th place. One of these brawlers is Rockstar Colt where he gets five for his tassels on his shirt, five for the tassels on his pants. He gets five for the star belt that he wears. He gets a bonus five points for the lightning on his back. He does not have any additional animation changes. That is a total of 20 points, but don't forget the base value of 10 points, which brings it up to 30 points. And he costs 30 to buy, which is a zero gem value. Granted, I actually think he's one of the coolest skins in the game. So uh, definitely worth the free gems that you're saving up within your boxes. Also tied for 12th place, we have El Rudo Primo, who gets five points for the wings on his mask. He gets five points for the increased size of his mask around his neck, five for the gloves on his hand, five for the bat on his belt. No additional super animation changes or anything like that. That's 30 gems in total, including his base of 10. And that is 30 gems to buy, which is a zero gem value. Also tied for 12th place, we have Lion Dance Brock, who gets 20 for his dragon rocket, 20 for his hat. I gave him a bonus five points for the bow that comes all the way down his back. Uh, five for his sweet glasses, five for the red and gold robe, five for his sleeved arms, five for his comfy shoes, 25 points for the fireworks that follow his rockets and then explode when he attacks. He has no additional animation changes to his super, and that comes up to 100 points, but you add the 50% bonus for being a Chinese New Year exclusive skin, and that comes up to 150 gems, where it costs 150 gems to buy him, that is a zero gem value. Lastly, for 12th place, we have Bandita Shelly, who gets five points for her disgruntled facial expression and eye patch, five for her larger and decorated bandana, five for her shotgun shell belt, five for her skull boots, no animation changes to her attack or super, and you add that to the base of 10 points because of the recolors, and she gets 30 gems gems in total, which she cost 30 to buy, and that is a zero gem value. Coming in 11th place, we have Panda Nita, where basically everything is a recolor. She doesn't have any differences in her attack. Uh, she does get an additional 25 points for her super, which is technically also kind of a recolor, 
but let's be honest, it's a pretty sick recolor. <laughs> Adding the 10 points for the base value, that is 35 points in total, where she costs 30 to buy, that is a positive 5 gem value. We're getting down to the final countdown, where we have a two-way tie for ninth place. Golden Barley is one of them, where he gets 20 for the fancy bottle in his hand, 5 for the nice shirt and vest that he's wearing, a bonus 5 for the gold chain that adds little bling on that vest, a 10 for his skin having a golden chrome reflective surface that makes him look nice and fancy. He doesn't have any additional attack or super changes, even though he's technically holding a different bottle, which is kind of weird, but whatever. That brings his total value to 40 gems, but uh, it only costs 30 to buy it, so that is a positive 10 gem value. Also in ninth place, we have Viking Bull, who gets 20 for his axe gun, 20 for his new hairdo and man bun, uh, 5 for his earrings, 5 for the added facial hair, 5 more for the facial hair, which comes all the way down to cover his chest, uh, 5 more for his vest, 10 for the shield on his back, which looks really sweet, 5 for the bandages on his arm and spiked knuckles, 5 for his fur boots, and he does not have any changes to his attack or his super, so that brings him up to a total value of 90 gems, but it only costs 80, which is a 10 gem value. Up um, next, guys, coming in 8th place, we have Little Helper Penny. She gets 20 points for her hat, uh, 5 for her pointy ears, 5 for her elf dress, 5 for the box on her back, 5 for the Christmas arms, 5 for her belt, 5 for her tights and shoes. She doesn't get any additional points for attack or super changes, and that brings up her cost to 65 points, except for the fact that she was a Brawl Days exclusive skin, which adds an additional 50%, which brings her total to 97.5 gems, and she costs 80 to buy. That is a positive 17.5 gem value. Coming in seventh place, we have Summer Jessie, who gets 20 for her remodeled squirt gun, 20 for her swimming cap, a bonus five points for her snorkel that she has, positive five for her swimsuit, another five gems for her duck backpack, five for the inner tube around her waist, five for her swimming shorts and sandals. She has zero changes to her attack, but she does get an additional 25 gems for her turret, which has been changed from a dog to a duck, and that brings her total up to 105 total gems, and since she costs 80 to purchase, that is a positive 25 gem value. Coming in sixth place is Popcorn Rico. He gets 20 for his additional popcorn poppin' gun, which is different than just a recolor. Uh, 20 for the striped hat on his head, 5 for his bow tie, 5 for the popcorn window, an additional 20 for the animation that happens that you actually see the popcorn popping in there. I felt like that was definitely worth that. Uh, 10 for his red suit, which includes the coattails on his back. 5 for his sleeved arms, and then 25 gems for his shots, which look like popcorn kernels, and a bonus 25 when you have his star power, and they turn into popcorn after hitting the wall, and then a bonus 5 points for the additional popcorn that actually pop out where Rico's fires and where his attacks end. On top of that, he gets an additional 25 for his popcorn super and a bonus 5 for the popcorn getting even bigger after a bounce shot if, star, if Rico has his star power. Total, that comes up to 180 gems where he costs 150 to buy, which is a 30 gem value. Up next, we have a two-way tie for fourth place, which includes Sakuda Spike, where she gets 20 gems for her two-flower head thing, uh, five bonus points for the cute little eye curly eyelashes things that she has, five for not forgetting to wear a shirt, 75 for her attack animation, which includes 25 for the flower, 25 for the different spike, 15 for the angry emote that she has when she throws her attack, and then 10 for the actual bandages that appear on the ground where she actually attacked. She also gets a bonus 10 points for the fact that Spike's attack has sound, but Sakura Spike's does not. This does add a little bit of stealth factor to her, which I thought was worth some points. She also gets a positive 10 points for the flowers that appear in her super, which is otherwise the same as regular Spike's. Add all that together and we have a whopping total of 135 gems and where it only costs 80 to buy Sakura Spike has an insane positive gem value of 55 gems also time for fourth we have dumpling Daryl who gets 20 gems for his rice gun 20 gems for his really cool hat with a dumpling on it five for his new torso five for his sumo belt 
5 for his different shoes, 25 for the new attack animation which actually shoots out rice, and that brings his cost up to 90 but he does get an additional 50% because it was a Lunar New Year exclusive skin. That brings up his total cost to 135 and where it costs 80 to buy that is once again an insane 55 gem value skin. Now we're about to reveal the three most valued skins in comparison to how much they actually cost. So if uh, you didn't already put a guess in the comment section below, go ahead and drop it now so that uh, you can hopefully get some of those sweet internet cookie points. Coming in third place, we have Santa Mike, where it is 20 for his candy cane weapons, 20 for his Santa hat with a star on it, 5 for the increased fluffy Santa beard that he has, 10 for the bag of toys on his back, and I almost gave him plus 5 for the toy Rico that was in the bag because that was really cool. He gets 5 for his Santa gloves, he gets 5 for his golden belt, 5 for his snow pants and boots, an additional 25 points for the candy canes that he throws out when he attacks, and 25 points for the toy bag that he throws when he uses his super. That brings up his value to 130 points, but he also gets an additional 50% for being a Brawl Days exclusive skin, bring up his total value at 195 gems and where he only costs 80 that is a positive 115 gem value which is absolutely nuts coming in second place now we have star Shelly she gets 20 for her star gun 20 for her hat and headphones 5 for her new jacket 5 for her star boots she also gets an additional 25 for her star attack animation and an additional 25 for her star super animation that comes up to a total of 110 total points, but she also gets an additional 50% bonus because she is an exclusive skin for 2018 players only, which brings it up to 165 gems. Now, because nobody will ever be able to purchase this skin, and it was given to people for free, that is a cost of zero gems, which gives her a positive 165 gem value. Lastly, guys, we've got the number one most valued skin for how much it costs, and that is going to Wizard Barley. Wizard Barley gets 20 gems for holding a bunny instead of a bottle. He gets 20 for having a wizard hood, five for his wizard beard, five for his wizard robes, five for his belt, and five for his sleeveless arms. He also gets 20 points for having a different pose than regular Barley. He also gets 20 points for having a different animation than Barley, as well as 25 points for having a flaming attack. I also gave it a bonus 10 points for having a different sound effect because that does impact actual gameplay. He also gets an additional 25 points for his flaming super and another bonus 10 points for having a different sound effect that as well. I thought about giving him bonus for being like exclusive, but he's not really exclusive because you get him for free when you sign up for Supercell ID and literally anybody with an email will be able to sign up for that. But regardless, that brings up Wizard Barley's total value up to 180 gems and because you get it for free that is a 180 gem value skin which honestly is pretty cool that supercell would give us something so cool for free like that's really epic wow it took me a long time for me to refine exactly how many points would be associated with each different skin to make it like somewhat accurate and fair as well and also make it so that like x skin is totally different than y skin could actually be compared but whatever Wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Karo's time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.